All right, what is going on guys? This is Joe here from Ankle Athletics. Just want to do this quick commentary over the top of a latest push workout of mine. I'm going to be talking about different things that I think you guys can apply directly to your training as far as technique, mental cues I'm thinking about during each exercise, why I selected each exercise, and even why I'm selecting each individual rep range that I'm selecting. So I think this will be very enjoyable for you guys and something I want to do more of just because it's a little bit easier for me to do and I can get them out a little bit quicker. So please let me know if you enjoy this below and if you want to skip right directly to the workout portion of the video, click the timestamp below in the description. Just going to give you guys a few updates if you did stick around. Going to talk about a few things that I think, like I said, you guys will want to know about and some exciting things happening with Income Athletics. The first of which is that the apparel, the summer apparel has dropped and the link is also in the description. So you can get some tanks, long sleeves, t-shirts, as well as baseball tees in multiple colorways. Click the link below to kind of shop. I'm going to run the store probably until the end of the week. So definitely get your hands on those before the store closes. If you guys have any questions about that, just message me on Instagram or you can always leave comments below. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I do have some hats still available. Um, I've gotten some questions on that. If you're interested in some hats, I do have limited colorways, but I do have most colorways available. The only one I do not have is the black on black. Otherwise, I have gray with black and white logo, red with black and white logo, and then I have the black with white logo. So message me on Instagram if you're interested in a hat. Um, the link will also be in my description or I'll just put it right up on the screen here. So one other quick exciting announcement. If you guys didn't already know, I do run a production company called AB Visual Production with one of my buddies, Mark Becker. You guys have probably seen him on the channel if you're not new to the channel and you're a returning subscriber. Um, but he helps me out with a lot of my digital media for Income Athletics. But we had our first wedding gig this summer um, for a videography um, highlight video of the day. Um, this past weekend and we have another one this coming weekend so if you guys would be interested in like a vlog style video of the day of one of our wedding gigs um, comment below I would be interested in doing that if you guys would like to see that but let me know your thoughts because if you're still watching this you care and you didn't skip ahead to the workout but um, but anyways I'm going to be getting into the workout portion of things here let me bring up my screen but like I said actually I don't think I mentioned it we went to Metroflex which is a pretty sweet gym about 30 minutes from my house here in Wisconsin I'm sure you guys have probably heard of Metroflex before um, if you've ever watched like Chris Jones or anyone like that. They're pretty, um, they're pretty prominent around the United States, I believe. So there's one about 30 minutes from my house. As you'll see, the environment is pretty legit. Um, I hit a push day and kind of getting into the workout portion of things up here. Um, I started out with a, a pre-activation movement, meaning activating the muscle group that I'm going to be hitting. So the main focus of this workout was targeting my chest and creating muscle damage through my chest. Um, so the purpose of this first movement isn't to necessarily fatigue myself, but it's more so to get the blood flowing and the activation going in that specific muscle group. So for instance, obviously we're hitting chest, so I'm starting out with pec flies. You could do this on a cable, you could do this on the machine, um, but it really just all depends on what you find to be the most beneficial to activate that muscle group. So um, like I said, you could do this um, to activate any muscle group going into like a back day. You could hit some banded rows just to get the blood flowing in the back. But the main purpose is to not fatigue you, but just activate you. So I believe I just did three sets of 12 to 15 with really light weight there. Um, so then as I move into my dumbbell incline, which you're seeing now, I'm able to make sure that my chest is fully activated so that I'm utilizing my chest um, to the optimal amount during this in incline bench. So I believe I did 12, 10, 8, 6 on incline and as I'm pyramiding down in reps, I was increasing the weight. So you were just watching the top set there. Um, one of the main things I'm thinking about during my incline is really focusing on bringing my elbows together at the top of each movement to really squeeze that chest. So bringing those dumbbells together at the top and utilizing um, that range of motion is definitely going to be the most important thing in my opinion. Um, after this, then I did a single arm shoulder press. So I'm standing here and I really like the single arm variation, not only because it engages different stabilizing muscle groups like my core forces me to engage my glutes, but also I'm able to really isolate each delt individually and I just feel a better mind muscle connection when I'm doing them one side at a time. Um, I'm personally not a big fan of shoulder presses in general. Um, I just don't like them. They're not a fun movement for me. So I like switching it up a little bit and doing the standing variation. And actually, there's some scientific research out sh showing that um, there's a little bit more 
lateral delt activation during a standing shoulder press movement than sitting. So as someone who's obviously looking for that aesthetic portion where you're trying to build up that lateral delt, hearing that definitely um, is something I like. So after that, um, on my push day, I wanted to focus a little bit more so on a tricep movement since I had already hit that chest and a little bit of that front delt. So I went to a dip machine and that was a really fun machine. That's a really super old school looking machine as you guys can see. Um, and I believe I just did three sets or four sets of 10 to 12 there. So really focusing on engaging my triceps there. You're gonna get a little chest and front delt activation no matter what. Um, but my main focus there was on getting that tricep activation and forcing my triceps to do the majority of the work. So play around with your forward lean on those dips. If you lean a little bit more forward, I find a little bit more chest activation. And if I'm more upright, I find a little bit more tricep activation. So um, anyways, after that, I moved on to something that I think a lot of you guys might not have seen before. And I know I'm kind of behind on the video here, but um, it was a single arm lateral raise with a kettlebell. So I really like this movement, very similar to a normal lateral raise, but since you're going one arm at a time, you really, really are isolating that lateral delt because you have to focus a lot more than you would if you were just throwing them both up at the same time. Um, also, the way the actual kettlebell is sitting in your hand, the way the, way, the, way the weight distributes, um, I think is a little bit better to get that lateral delt um, uh, focused and have the tension on that lateral delt, not have that front delt um, or your trap take over. So um, after that, I did two tricep movements to finish it off, a lying dumbbell skull crusher. And when it comes to skull crushers, I really enjoy the lying dumbbell variation versus a straight bar or easy bar. And there's a few reasons why I like this better. The first being that I feel a little bit less pressure on my elbow joint specifically, and I can feel my tricep activate a little bit more. Another one is that it becomes a unilateral movement then. So since you're working each dumbbell independent with each side individually, you're able to make the movement unilateral, meaning you can avoid imbalances if your right side or dominant side tends to take over when they're working together as you would with a straight bar. So hopefully that makes sense. And even beyond that, I also really enjoy the range of motion I'm able to get. Yes, you can just bring the straight bar behind your head, but I personally, like I said, feel that tension or that pressure a little bit more on my elbow joint rather than the tricep, which is what I'm after, not trying to break down my elbow joint. So since we moved from a movement where our elbows were up near our head to start, we're gonna be hitting a little bit more of that long head of the tricep. So then my next exercise for the triceps, I chose something with my elbow down towards my side, which you're gonna definitely be able to utilize more weight with. So that's kind of how I determine those two exercises so I can kind of get an elbow position um, from each of those or a different elbow position in each of those, which is going to help target a little bit different um, area and a little bit different angle of the tricep. So that is definitely important when it comes to bodybuilding, building the muscle specifically. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys enjoy this style of video and hopefully you're able to take something away from this. If you guys have any questions about anything at all regarding the apparel, the workout or anything, let me know. You can either leave a comment below or message me on Instagram and I'll definitely get back to you. And if you are still watching the video, comment below, hashtag get moving. And I'll be picking one winner of free ankle athletics apparel item of their choice. So just let me know, comment below. That's all you have to do to enter. Hashtag get moving and subscribe to the channel. And I will enter you into a free drawing for a free ankle athletics apparel item of your choice. So make sure you comment below if you're still watching. If not, they missed out. But I'll be talking to you guys very soon. More videos like this will be out very soon, like I said. And I look forward to hearing from you all. Have a good rest of your day, and thank you for watching. Peace out, guys.